Hello and thank you for joining me for the search minutes today. I apologize for my voice. I've been dealing with a very serious vocal cord inflammation in the last couple of weeks. So this is the reason, but I do my best to explain how to exclude content from search and dev in Office 365 today. So what I'm going to show you today is effectively Office 365 and some tricks and tips of what to do. This is my environment. And if I do a search for sales here, you see, I have seven Excel files. And one of them is this cold email sales weekly activity spreadsheet, which I actually don't want to see by search and I don't want to show my, to my users by search. So if I follow the location where this document is stored, I can show you that it is stored here under the document library in my Berlin site. So I have several options to hide this content. One option is I can filter out by some of its properties. So for example, I can use its title and I can exclude the doc, everything that has called email sales week leak activity, activity in the title. And you will see now I have only six Excel sheets and my cold email sales weekly activity spreadsheet is not here anymore. Okay, but obviously I cannot expect my users to do queries like this one. So I want to uh, add this exclusion somewhere to make, to make it automatically. So I copy this part of the query and actually there are several places where you can add it. First of all, uh, of course, you can edit this page. You can add this exclusion to this page only. In this case, this document will be hidden from this page only. Or you can add this exclusion to your result source. In this case, wherever you that result source, this document won't be excluded, w will be excluded, sorry, it won't be displayed. Uh, of course, not the title is the only property that you can use here. You can use the path, which filters by the URL and which is unique. So you will be sure that you exclude only one document if you use the exact URL. You can also use the path to exclude a document library or to exclude a specific site or even a site collection from search this way. Again, if you add it to this page, it will be applied on this page only. If you add it to your result source, it will be, this filter will be applied to your result source only. But what if I don't want to exclude documents by title or path? There are actually an option. You can create a new column, for example, hide from search, or confidential or sensitive. And if you add a, a column like this one and a yes, no type column, and you set it to be yes for some documents, filtering by that property will result on, on search in a similar way, will result to those documents will be hidden on that page. However, this doesn't mean those documents won't be indexed. Those documents will be still in the search index. Therefore, you will find them by dev, for example. You will be able to find them by using a different result source if you create a new search application. So actually, those documents will be stored in the search index, but you just hide them this way. However, there are several options to exclude content from the search index, even in Office 365. The first option is you can exclude the whole document library. If you go to the document library and click on advanced settings here, scroll down a little bit, and here you can see there are search settings. And the first search setting is allow items from this document library to appear in search results. And if you set it to be no, 
this document library will be removed from the search index during the next continuous scroll, which happens in just a few minutes later. Okay, by default it is set to be yes everywhere. You have to set it to be no on each document library, which you want to <coughs> remove from search. Another option can be, you can, in a similar way, you can remove a whole site from search if you want. But once again, if you remove something from search, that means you cannot you, you cannot see that content by Office Graph for uh, by sorry Office Dev for example or any other Microsoft Graph development applications, etc. Uh, etc. Et and also some parts of the compliance features also rely on search. So just very be very careful when you do this when you remove content from the index itself. There is one question to answer today: How to remove some document from dev. So for example, if I'm here uh, on, on dev, on this tenancy, you can see this called email sales weekly activity spreadsheet is here. I want it to be crawled. I want my users to be able to find it. I just don't want to uh, display this document by dev. Okay, I want it, I want to hide it from dev. So actually, this is what you have to do in this case. You go to your document library, and on your document library, <coughs> you go to the library settings again, and in library settings, you create a yes no type column called hide from dev. This is an out of the box feature in Office 365, however, this is not a site column or not a site collection column, so you have to create your own height from Delf column. Again, you create a column, it can be a site collection column, you create it with the name height from Delf, this is very important. Its type has to be yes or no. And since on this library I have already created this column uh, when I prepared this demo, I can display it for you and go there and you can see I have a column called hide from Delf. Okay, I'm going to edit the properties of this document and set hide from Delf to be yes. All right, and you can see now its value is yes. If I wait a few minutes, this document will be hidden from Delve. I will be back to show it to you. Hello, I am back. So now uh, the next scroll is done in Office 365 and if I do a refresh in Delve, you can see there is no sales spreadsheet anymore here. Why? Because I, I created a property called hide from Delve and set it to be yes for this document and then waited until the next scroll finished. It's important again, this property hides this document from Delve only. So if I go back to my uh, search center and if I search for sales, this document will be included, right? So don't mix up those two things, please. If you want to exclude it from here, just use a property filter or exclude the whole document library or the whole site from search. If you want to hide it from Delve, you can do it by using the hide from dev property. Thank you very much. That's all I wanted to show you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week for my live Q&A here in YouTube. Bye now.